Why wouldn't you change a system that allows people convicted of dangerous driving to get back on the road before proving that they're safe to drive? Too often, drivers who have committed serious offences with terrible consequences face ridiculously lenient penalties, and often they're free again to drive within a few weeks or months. Why wouldn't we want more traffic officers policing the roads, reducing the number of casualties, and making the roads safer for everyone to use? Roads policing has faced disproportionate cuts in recent years, with the number of dedicated officers outside London falling by 48% in England and Wales since 2004 and serious injuries to cyclists and motorcyclists starting to rise. Why wouldn't we want better cycle lanes and infrastructure to make cycling safer? By separating lorries and buses from school children and commuters on bikes, we would encourage more people out of their cars and create healthier, more pleasant streets, towns and cities. Why wouldn't you change the highway code to include a simple technique that could stop hundreds of cyclists being knocked off their bikes every year? By introducing the Dutch reach into the highway code, drivers would learn to always check over their shoulder before opening their car doors. It can be learned in seconds and costs nothing. Why wouldn't you require all lorries to be fitted with all-round vision glass that eliminates dangerous blind spots to reduce cycling and pedestrian deaths? Lorry blind spots are known to contribute to many fatal and serious injury collisions where drivers fail to see more vulnerable road users. But wraparound glass could make a huge difference, particularly in busy cities. Why wouldn't you have a standard design for all cycle lanes and infrastructure, no matter where you are in the country? Current design standards vary enormously across the country. We need one agreed standard to which all local authorities must conform.